When last we talked, I had discussed uh, some inexpensive art supplies I'd picked up. Since that time, I'd gotten the chance to actually try out the supplies. Do you remember I've had the uh, Royal and Langnickel box of, or bag of pencils here, nice pencil case. And I decided I'd been learning uh, manga drawing style, the reference book many people are, because it's just kind of hard to travel overseas just to learn a drawing style. But I've been using like the different ones. This is Royal Magnickel HB weight. Decent pencils. And if you need a pencil, this would be a great place to start because get a full set of pencils in different weights, hardness, softness, however you want to call it, for five bucks. So if you can see one of these, you're five below, definitely look into it. I use the eraser some, and it's okay. I prefer art gum or something else, but you know, for a starting eraser, it's good. Also, I haven't touched the notepad yet, so I haven't been able to review it. Show you that the pencil drawing I did, like since I've been learning, I decided to do a manga style interpretation of Columbo, the uh, detective from television. And I thought that'd be kind of fun to do because he was a fun character and just messing around. Like this, this, this is the pencil work I did using the new pencils. We're gonna be inking that today, but I thought I would show you what it looks like with the pencil. So that, I'm gonna ink over that, and then we're gonna let the ink dry overnight, just to take care of any chance of smearing. We will get to that. This is a Stratford or Strathmore Bristol, pretty good paper. If you're gonna use alcohol markers, you're gonna need a very heavy paper because that stuff will bleed through. Just as a note. But now that we're gonna talk about inking, if you were into the manga style, you've heard about probably the G pen and uh, if you don't use a dip pen you use something like this uh, Micron which is a archival ink pen and they're good you have different weights and lengths and etc different you know types of pens and then if you're using a uh, Micron and a G pen together you have that going and there's a uh, if you're an American comics artist you use um, the Speedball Raven Quill nib which is cool, but I like to use Noodler's ink here. This is Noodler's ink and it's a uh, permanent ink when it's, in, when it's dry. Per the label, it is a the only eternal black ink, bulletproof on cellul cellulose paper, yet washes off plastic with water. According to the label, I've had pretty good luck with it. And got like a ink bottle that comes this full. One thing I like is that Whereas if you use a Pigma, you've got to have a bunch of different weights of uh, pen, like your three nib, a, you know, different sizes. And then you hope all the ink's the same. But with this, I have my uh, pen here, my uh, Ahab in Cardinal Darkness. It's made by Noodlers. You can see the uh, thing here is shaped like a whale. This is inspired by Moby Dick. And the body of the pen is supposed to be inspired by uh, the peg leg of Captain Ahab. If we open it, it has a nib. And this nib is a flex nib, which means that, like the G pen and the Raven Quill, it does allow for variation in line width. Not as much maybe as some of the dip pens, but it does have the option. Whereas the dip pen, you have to dip repeatedly. You have to uh, keep dipping, but with this, you just fill the reservoir and you're good to go. Another nice part about this is that the bottle of ink allows you to use it in two or three items and you know you're gonna have the same ink. You're not gonna have a reaction chemically with this because this is it in a fountain pen, like my flex pen. This is a aqua brush pen that I fill with uh, some noodler zinc, which means I didn't paint in a large area if I want it black and it's going to be the same color as the uh, ink on the ink pen and we're not going to worry about any reactions between the two. I can also, like this is my very narrow platinum preppy pen, but if I want a really fine line I use this, it uses the same ink. And I also have a marker here, a preppy marker that I've filled with black, the black ink by noodlers, which means 
all of these devices are using the same ink, which means I have very little chance of there being a reaction to them if I went on the wrong paper. So let us begin inking.